Watch and learn, baby. Hello, everyone. Gene Molina here, Natural Tennis Solutions. So, we are talking about trust. Now, trusting in your stroke is one of the hardest things to do. So, my advice is loosen up to the maximum that you can. Complete looseness and release your body. And also, to keep your head on contact. So keeping your head on contact will make you trust much better. If I keep myself from actually looking at the result of the shot, I have actually focused to the maximum because I'm not worried about the result. I am 100% sure that I'm gonna hit this ball where I'm intending to hit it without looking at the result. A lot of us become curious cats and we go to hit the ball and we hit the ball, but then we're looking up maybe even a little bit before contact because we want to see what we did, but we're not focusing exactly on the contact. So if we're not focusing exactly on the contact, we're not going to have the intention happen most of the time. We're going to miss hit. So this can be done in, on, on all shots. Forehand, I already did it in one of the previous videos, but forehand, I can show you by intentionally hitting it down the middle and not looking. I'm not looking, I'm just hitting it. Backhand, I can do the same thing. Keep my head on contact and not even look and just hit that ball down the middle. So I can also do it on volley. I can also do it on serve. On volley, I could do this. I go and I just do that. And I'm not really looking at the result. I'm just hitting the volley. Same thing on the backhand volley. Same thing. I'm just hitting that. Um, trusting in the fact that you can watch the ball to contact and then intentionally hit it where you want. That's complete and utter trust. Now the other thing is complete looseness too. So if I completely let go here and I don't look, I know that ball was pretty good. I'll look back on the film and see if it was in too, but it really felt good to me. So that's what you're trying to trust. You're trying to trust the feel of a good shot, not the result of where it's landing in the, in the court. When you try to trust the result of where the ball lands in the court as far as the lines go, that's what makes us get tighter and tighter. So if you can loosen up and trust in the fact that you're trying to put that ball where you want it to go, and that's it. Same thing on my backhand, I just let go. And I missed, and I'm okay with that. Missing actually is an opportunity to learn to make the shot better. So I missed in the bottom of the net. Next one I need, because I did kind of look a little bit, right? Next one I need to really just let go and not look. So here it is, I'm just gonna, here, same thing, right? So now I need to calibrate, I need to calibrate. I need to go up. So there I got it to come up. Every error is an opportunity to learn something. It's an opportunity to calibrate your shot. So I try that backhand again and not looking, I go into the bottom of the net again. So I know I have an issue with my depth right now and I know I need to calibrate to the point where I need to get a little more height. So I'll get myself to go up a little higher and that's it. And these are just letting go and driving. I'm not really trying to hit too slow. I'm hitting pretty fast and they're going where I need them to go. I'm intentionally hitting the directions that I'm hitting right now. Serve, I've already shown what the no look is like, but intentionally hitting the serve and not looking. And then same on this side, intentionally hitting the serve and not looking. So I hit in the net, I know I have to calibrate. I have to go a little bit higher on this one. And that's it. Complete 100% trust in your stroke means you don't have to look at the result. You can keep your head on contact and not look at what you did. But you know what you did because you already had an intention beforehand. So this video is about intention and trust. Trust is the key word. If you trust in the fact that you will miss then you will probably miss. So fear is bringing to fruition what you're fearing. 
fearing missing the shot. If you fear missing the shot, then you're really not letting go and you're not holding back. So try to realize that full trust in your stroke needs to be you're not thinking about the result. You're thinking about the intention. The intention is to hit the ball a certain way, hit it somewhere. So that is your intention. And then the other thing is to not really come off of contact. Your head needs to remain at contact. Federer is the perfect example for this. Keeps his head on contact on everything, everything. So trust, trust and intention. Two big pieces to make you play your best tennis. Thank you. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. So like, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one.